Kate Middleton's kids have a lot of love in their lives. Kate's brother James Middleton spoke out in a new interview with OK Magazine about Kate and Prince William's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, sharing why he's, quote, really pleased about his nephews and niece having a family pet in their dog, Orla. I'm really pleased that they are able to enjoy and have the benefit of a dog in their lives. I see them being lucky that they have a dog in their life. The update comes after King Charles's coronation, which took place on May 6th at Westminster Abbey in London, and Will, Kate, and all the kids were in attendance. While Prince Harry was there, he was without his wife, Meghan Markle, and the Duke of Sussex made a hasty exit from the event. DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston broke down everything you need to know about the historic occasion. His trip was incredibly quick. We are talking less than 29 hours in the UK. It really was a fly-in, fly-out situation. Interestingly, he flew commercial, so he's maybe starting to take on board all of that criticism about his decision to fly in private jets. He flew on American Airlines over to the UK, flew on British Airways back from the UK. He landed in LA at about 6.30 p.m. So Archie may not have been prepared to party through the night. Obviously, he's only four years old. But Harry did make it back in time to spend a good period with his son on his birthday weekend, which we know was incredibly important to the Duke of Sussex. And when Harry was in town, who did he talk to? Well, publicly, Harry was seen chatting with Beatrice, Eugenie, their husbands. He also had a bit of a joke with the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. But on the whole, we really didn't see Harry interacting a huge amount with his immediate family. There were no public interactions with William and Kate, nothing with Charles. I mean, Harry pretty much arrived for the ceremony, went into the Abbey with Eugenie and Beatrice, and then left straight after. There wasn't any time for him to hang out with his family. Now, one thing that we know Charles was a bit disappointed by was Harry's decision to skip the private luncheon that took place after that wonderful Buckingham Palace balcony moment. We do know that Harry was extended an invitation, that he was asked to stay and attend, but he chose to go back to LA so that he could be there with his family for Archie's birthday. And we know that the other members of the royal family were a bit let down by that, although a few royal aides may have been breathing a big sigh of relief because it meant that the kind of, you know, possibility of more controversy had been taken away.